on my unboxing video about Rodecaster Pro 2, I noticed that there is a tons of delay on my headphones, so this video is more about that. So first thing I wanted to test is that if I disable the master output effects and all the effects in the microphone track, that does it get any better? And unfortunately, the answer is no, it does not. In Studio One there is this stuck plugin called Pipeline XT and it's made for running uh, the track through some kind of outboard gear. So you kind of make this effect loop. And what is cool about this plugin that it can detect the latency automatically. So I just press one button and it sends the signal to another device and it counts the delay when it comes back. And because Arami is just a beautiful sound card, I use the latency of 32. That's not something you usually do, but anyway, the results are here and this device has latency of 56.85 milliseconds and that is goddamn little bit too much, way, way too much. So in the year of 2023, I think this is a little bit too much latency and um, it doesn't sound great. Maybe some guys who never made music or anything, they are fine with this. Usually when you record guitars, your buffer size is like 128 and your latency is 6 milliseconds. So with this device, the latency is almost 57 milliseconds. I don't know if that's a deal breaker for you. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I bought this with my own money. I can't probably even send it back, but, but it makes my head hurt a bit. Uh, there is this echo all the time. Maybe they can fix it in the future updates. I can't find any settings, what chains or anything. If you know any tips, please let me know. So I, I'm, I'm really not sure if that bothers the average guy, but yeah, it's weird. I don't know what to say, but it does everything I need, but this goddamn delay is drives me crazy. 